Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles, and I am live. How can I turn this a little bit so I can see comments and stuff? I'm not live. It says I'm live, Caleb. Waiting for Olympus Reptiles. It's gonna go live. You're just behind. Well, you try to make sure your audio is off, so then we blow everything up. I show two people on here, Caleb. You're on. Now. I'm on now. See, you told me I wasn't on, but the truth is, I knew I was on. So here's the thing, guys. Uh, we are trying a new system out. Many of you said, get a gimbal, get a gimbal. What's going on, Python Addiction? And let me know if closed caption is working. I didn't really see a spot to click, but there was a spot that talked about ways to not have it, and I didn't select any of those, so I hope it's popping up. After all, that is the goal. This is our first time using our new live streaming setup. Uh, so we didn't get a gimbal, but we do have a tripod. And even though it's a tripod, Kurt elected to hold it because he wants to feel like he's part of this. Uh, and still, so, anyway, so here he is. So... You may see me glance to my right every now and then like that. Maybe it's left for your screen. I don't know. It's because the computer monitor's over there. I'm trying to see what's going on. I do want you guys to let me know how the audio is going. Kurt is monitoring the comments, and he will interject with them as needed. So I'm hoping you guys can do two things. One, if you need closed caption, I hope you have it. And two, I hope you can hear me because we're using a really cool new mic here. And look, it's purple. Um, and so that's kind of where things are. Sounds like I'm talking into a can. And see, Daniel, that's what I'd heard. But, uh, yeah, I, I think you can do it on a live with this setup. So that's what we're trying to get to. But maybe not the way we did it. I don't know. So, But it looks like Python Addiction can help us with that. Well, let's try to adjust this mic. Is the game turned all the way up? Am I going up or down? Why are we flipping upside down again? Why why do we do that? It was not you liars. I flipped oh, it right God, side I up. I pulled that arm down. He is smiling. In. We're gonna fix that. We were talking about upside down versus right side up. Oh, now I don't know how to turn that thing around. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Go for a ride. Nope. Guess we're not right now. What did you all do to this thing? Because it's upside down now. That's all right. <clears throat> Maybe the windscreen needs an adjustment. Oh, there we go. Now I know how to do it. Yeah, Kurt flipped that around. I know what you did now. Why'd you do that, Kurt? You want to look like the cool kids and be upside down? We'll see if that helps the talking in a can moment. Let me know if that's a little bit better for you guys or not. Can you hear me but no closed captioning? Uh, on the game spin. Okay, that's a sweet spot to black mark. Oh, right there it is. All right. Well, you already you drew it on there for me. I'll be damned. Uh, guys, let me know if that's any better on the audio. If it gets less can, still picks me up okay. I stuck it right in the middle of the two black marks. I tell you, Python Addiction worked really hard to make this shit idiot-proof for us. So big thank you on that. So let's go ahead and get to the cutting, which is going to be three clutches today. And to call it a cutting, I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to kick that, is kind of a joke, right? You think it sounds better? Awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is good. Uh, I think the can sound is your acoustics in the room. It could be. So, like, uh, with that, let's look at what these clutches are. The first one, we only had two eggs, right? We originally have three in here. One of them's all rotted and gross. It's because it was stuck and it wasn't we could remove. Yeah, it never had veins. I had it listed as a slug from the word go, but I couldn't get it off there without possibly carrying it. So we just left it. So it's not going to be a lot of fun. What we bred was a pie to a toffino. So these are both going to be just double hats. Now, as you can see, this one here, because we were gone, is completely out of the egg. Uh, looking fine, looking like it's doing good. Nice, healthy, 100% double hat pied and uh, either het pied and either het albino or het toffino. This one here is still in the egg, but it's already got its head out. So we're going to cut a little way more from that. I mean, just to make sure it has plenty of room. What we will not be doing no matter how much you guys ask is cutting that nasty buggy thing right beside it. We're going to have to get some new scissors soon. These are starting to get dull from all the years of work. But you can see that one's doing really good too. And it's also just 
a 100% double head. So sometimes you leave an egg like this. This is also proof that a nasty egg going bad isn't going to affect your other ones. I like to get rid of them just because they look bad. They don't smell the best. They're not that appetizing. So you know. But if you're going to rip the egg, it's not worth ripping the other eggs over. So we just left that one. It's a rare thing we have to do, but that's what that black, nasty mass of shit is. It's an egg that never had an egg, and this is only going to go back. But as you can see, didn't affect the babies at all. We'll close that one back up and slide it to the side. The next clutch was, sorry guys, I've had this like weird cough today. It's going to be clutch number 23, and it was a banana paired to a banana black pastel, getting my super close up. So what we're really looking for here is super banana and banana black pastels, and of course super banana black pastels. We got five eggs out of this one and uh, no slug. So let's see how we did. Even though this one was literally laid, let's see here, two days after, they are all out of the eggs. So uh, there's not a snake in there. So it, there's a snake in here around the eggs. This is why we take these out. We don't want these guys to get stuck. So we're going to work with that first and see what all we got. Bloop. Those are all over there. That guy there. Get rid of those. Now these guys are a little spicy. I saw one bite one of the head a little bit earlier. So we got three that are bananas, right? Um, we'll take a look at those. Now, this one here is, and it's a little easier to call what we got going on, right? Because they're out of the eggs. We're not having to go, well, we really can't see it. So we can, we can tell you what most of this is. This is going to be most likely a banana black pastel. I guess there's always a chance it's a super nanner, but I don't think so right now. I think this... Yeah, I think this is banana, and it would not surprise me a bit if that's not super banana. So I think we got a banana black pastel, a banana, and a super banana. That's what I'm going with right now. And you can just see the color difference in the two. This is there's less color. It's actually brighter. And we'll see in this age if it has spots or not. Now what else we got is these little normals, two normals, and they are both jerks. I already saw one of them bite the other one right in the right in the head. For the love of God. But I don't see any black pastel in there. If there is, it's too low of an expression for me to get excited about. There isn't any I'm going to be here, but uh, well, not to my quality. So we're going to call those two normals. So we got two normals, right? And then we got one banana black pastel. Guys, this is still to this day one of my favorite two gene snakes you can make. I just love the colors on these things. They are amazing. They look great. Uh, and just They're awesome. Now, it could be Super Nana, Black Pastel, but we're just going to go with Banana Black Pastel for now. That's what I think it is anyway, but awesome, awesome, awesome animal. I just dig it. I dig how dark purple they are. I see you're thinking about it. Don't you do that. And then these two together, you can see how much more rich the purple is through here, or washed out it is there. So at first, we thought we didn't get any Super Bananas, but now as we're looking, I do think that probably is one and kind of looking some things up. That would be the first we ever made. Uh, this will probably be a male too, because my my guess on that is because our banana, our dad was a male maker. Mom is a female banana, so she can put either one. So odds are it's a super and had to get banana from dad, right? So it's probably going to be, oh little boy, we'll go ahead and take a look on the hood here. Maybe. That's just going to let me. Let me take a look under your hood. And penises, just like that. So that also leaves credence to what we're seeing is possibly quite true. Uh, that one here, it, it's probably going to be female, just because if it would have got banana from dad to, you know, well, actually it could be the one, because it could have not got banana from mom. So this is a 50 50 either way. Put that one back in. All right, guys, and the next one, we actually get to get our scissors out for it. Why are we doing three today? Is because those two are kind of. Already passed the point of when we're doing any cutting. We wanted to actually do some cutting for you. So, this is what we have here. This is clutch number 24. And clutch number 24, we end up with eight eggs. You can see this delay here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, everything went good. This is kind of a funky one. We'll see how that goes. However, when you get one that's kind of that boob egg kind of thing, oh, that's a weird one. Um, what you really end up having, if it goes term and it stays like this, it's probably good, you know. So, we're not going to worry too much about it. We're going to go ahead and Get this up, get them out of there. So sometimes you're probably wondering, what is this thing all in there? I'm not sure who set these up, if it was me or Caleb on here, but either way, we both have stuff like this. 
what happens is with these bigger tubs, they lose moisture a little bit faster. They don't tight. They're not as tight as these little guys. Uh, so you end up having to add a lot of moisture. You have too much moisture. This crate, egg crate will sink in there. If it sinks in there, your eggs get wet and your eggs die. So this was just simply put in there as a brace to keep that from happening. So this didn't sink in. It would set on here kind of as a place to lift that up. You could also put another piece in each corner, whatever you want to do. If you want to keep those guys out of the water, that's all that was. We didn't forget it in there. Uh, when you use metal, you make it a little bit of rust looking there, but then it's perfectly fine. So let's see here. Let's take these two. You know, we all get so super worried about these eggs, right? We all want eggs to do really, really well. Uh, I get that, and I am the same way. I get super worried about my eggs only really, really well. But the fact is, the parents lay these in dirt outside in termite mounds on the ground with microbes traveling the lower, and they do fine. They've been doing it for 100 years. So you do not require a 100% sterile environment to hatch ball pythons. Yep, when you're done, clean your tubs. Clean them with dish soap or whatever you use for cleaning. Disinfect them, get them all nice. Don't reuse this stuff. You get new stuff every time, et cetera, et cetera. But if you have a little bit of that in there, or you, it's fine. If there's a little bit of dirt on the egg, it's fine. Don't get too worked up about that. So what are we looking for here? We are looking for Firefly GHIs. That's what we're really looking for. I'll take anything GHI with an extra kicker gene. I like pastel GHI, I like fire GHI, but what we really want to hit is firefly GHIs. I believe this is our second year trying that. We missed them last year. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we hit them. So how's it been going on here, Kurt? Anything going good? I don't know. You're the one supposed to be reading them. How am I supposed to be reading them? Well, Python, the big, he thinks it looks super banana black pastel. That would be pastel. Pastel. That would be awesome. If somebody says they're blackhead, but hypo just obby. That's badass. Uh, Desert Ghost Pet Clown. Man, it was doing great. He had that clown in there. Just, just kidding. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Bananas. Let's see how big shit. All right. Let's cut into these bad boys. See if we can't get a Firefly GHI. If you guys like this kind of stuff, we'll have another cutting tomorrow. So. We got a lot of cuttings coming up. And this is cutting number 24, and we are well past 40 clutches in. So, well, what do we have here? There's a lot of blushing on there, some decent color. Can't tell for sure what we got, but it's definitely not a normal. So, there's that. I also would say that is definitely. I can see a little more. Well, I was about to say it's not GHI, so I thought I was looking at the back of it, but I'm not ready to say that yet, actually. You know what? We're going to have to just let that one be. Let that be a surprise to us later. I don't want to go poking and prodding and jaying that too much. If anybody wants to let me by and say jay it, uh, and this isn't a love or hate the guy or anything like that, it's just a fact. You can go watch all those old videos of Jay for prehistoric pets. That dude cut open a retic egg, stick two fingers in it, and pull the baby out, you know. Uh, we try not to do that. Oh, that's that's got fire in it. Pretty confident. You can look in that head how light that is. I do believe we got fire in there. Things doing well. It's gonna come out like a fire plug too. I have a feeling. But We'll take these guys. Bad good boys around here. Come here, buddy. These are the ones I hate cutting. See how taunt that is? It's going to be juicy. So I'm going to cut this and make a geyser. Well, Nick, told you. Thing is laying in a weird position. So this is a snake that when I look at it right now in the egg, I'm a little concerned about it. It could just be how it's laying, but how this back, this is its belly is up and then it curves around here. My concern is, is that properly developed or is that going to be a kinked baby?
we'll see when it comes out for sure. I mean, it's moving pretty good when it's touched and whatnot. Uh, but I just don't like the way that thing looks as it's sitting there. As far as this tonight, we're going to cut that one last. That one's hella full. These are all really full of fluid. It ain't going to matter much. Come here. There we got it. Someone asked, is Clutch 24 banana as well? So no, what we're looking for here is it was a GHI to a Firefly. I was looking for Firefly GHIs. That looks like it's probably a Firefly, but I don't see GHI in there. We just see how clean it is, how nice and light that is, and how light it's going to be. That's probably going to be a Firefly. I haven't seen the GHI really strong in this yet. The GHI was bad, but uh, we'll see what we get. We're also only cut, what, one, two, three, four out of eight. This one has a little room. That's another one I don't see JHI in at all. But I do think we might have another Firefly there. That's nice and white. Almost looks white and black. See that? Good looking thing. But I'm ready to see some GHIs in here. We got one that might be us, but all we've done. Man, another one that's not definitely not GHI. We actually made it have to go back and check what last year's pairing was and see if we didn't run some retained or something. Because we are really, really not. I mean, you would expect to hit something at this point. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. If you get one, you know that's in there. But I haven't seen that for sure yet. So, there you go. It's going to be like an egg we cut the top off of almost. Oh. That's why you're careful with your scissors, everybody. Right there's a head. As you can see, we didn't hit a thing on it. But that one, that one's got the GHI. I do believe. Look at that pattern. I think, yeah. So we do have a GHI finally. Uh, it's not a straight GHI. Look at how light that head is. That actually might be our three gener. Let's we'll see when it's out. That'll be really kind of cool. So if we get one GHI, but it's a three gener. I'm a happy camper because I just want to see what the GHI Firefly looks like and how the egg is kind of what that's about. Okay, we're going to make a mess. Told ya. That is a big old egg with a lot of spare room in it. Uh, that one might be... See how that pattern's all super linked up right there? We might have GHI in that one too, actually. Hard to say for sure. Right now, until it's out. But, um, digging in. I don't think we hit the odds really hardcore on GHI in this one. But I do think this one here is going to make up for the whole clutch. That just looks like so I'm really excited about that one there. Let's get a vacuum over here one time, guys. All right. That is three clutch cuttings in one. Y'all stick around for tomorrow because tomorrow, tomorrow I believe we are cutting. Let me double check. But I'm pretty sure it's clowns. Yes. The kind of clowns I like. So tomorrow's clutch cut, clutch cutting will be a head count. Fuck! Okay, let's try it again. Tomorrow's clutch cutting will be a head clown bred to a pastel lesser desert ghost pet Krypton. So we have a chance of Krypton pet desert ghost. Here's the thing. 
We've been putting most of those in our back pocket. If we get any more, we won't have to. So we will be putting them out to you, the masses. So anyway, that's where we're at. Anything else we need to do? He man's uncle. <laughs> Cut. He just rips them. Yeah, I've seen the pinch and rip. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Rip is people who stick their fingers in and pull the babies out. That's that's the old J move and then puts it back. Uh, if you do have the ball python, it's gonna run out of the egg. I don't know what retics do when you do that, but for a ball python, it's probably not gonna absorb and choke too well. So I would say avoid that with him. As far as how he opens the egg or with a rip, it, if it doesn't scare the baby out, and that dude's been doing it a long ass time. I'm talking about Freedom Reader right now, it's probably fine. So and that is kind of where we're at. All right, guys, if that's everything, we're gonna hop off here, switch over to Patreon for just a few, and uh We'll go from there. All right, Kurt, any questions? Caleb, if you were monitoring comments and whatnot, I'm assuming. Any questions? How much delay do we have? Five seconds. Five seconds? Five seconds. Not too bad. We can move back. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.